I'm talking with Cormac Whelan of Alcatel Lucent at the Connected Britain event in London. Cormac, you gave a presentation this morning talking about the importance of competition in the network. What was the main message you were giving to the audience? Well, there were a couple of messages actually, Brian. Um, one was that uh, in order for the, uh, the infrastructure in the UK to actually be all it can be going forward, we need strong competition in the marketplace. It cannot be about a race to the bottom on price for carriers and also that there is a huge emphasis on speed, 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 etc., etc. But actually, one of the key things for this is customer care, customer experience and driving more than just speeds and a price to the bottom. Nobody wins ultimately in that. Competition gets driven out as margins get lower and you end up with not the kind of service that the UK should have as a leader in the broadband thinking arena. Also, we need to actually move on to the next generation of broadband in this country. Um, BD UK did a great job of actually getting us moving and starting to roll ahead across the country and we've gone from 90 to 95 up to 98 and continues to roll out. But the level of service we would expect in a country like the UK needs to be higher and greater than it is today, both in speed, price and in customer service. Yeah, I think you were talking about the effect on GDP, something that's, that's often ignored. It is. There's so much focus on speed and particularly driven by consumers who in a lot of cases think it's a utility free, ubiquitous, etc. But actually, we've done a lot of research as, to, as of other people and we've pulled together that data that shows there is a direct link on the GDP of a country based on an upturn in broadband capability. So a 10% up a turn in broadband as a, a capability competitively in a country can lead to as much as 1 to 1.5% GDP increase per capita. That's huge for a country of our industrial strength and of our business drive. But the challenge we have here also is we're a huge country of SMEs, a very large number of them in this country, and one of the shocking stats is that there are approximately 45,000 SMEs currently on dial-up, not low-speed broadband, dial-up in this country. And for a leading nation in Western Europe and in the global financial markets, that's clearly unacceptable for UK PLC. Yeah, that is a bit shocking. I mean, how do you think we're doing? Do you think we're making a real effort? I mean, what's your perspective on, on how, we're, uh, how we're developing our broadband? I think it always gets a bad rap, to be fair, because it, with, when rolling out a utility like broadband and making it into a serious business utility, it can't be done overnight, it can't be done cheaply, it's a very complicated thing, and of course it is subject to regulation, uh, and that takes time. And of course, once you make that investment initially in it, you have to continue to roll that out as best you possibly can with the technology available at the time. It's impossible to future-proof a network, so to speak. So at some point, you, make a, uh, you place a bet on a technology, and over time, that technology then needs to be refreshed. We're at that stage now. This is the time now for next generation access in the UK. We've seen some exciting announcements from customers like BT on the GFAS side, from Virgin Media expanding their cable footprint, and a lot of people now playing in the metro space and the fibre in the cities. And there's a whole bunch of benefits that come actually for cities and for nations from rolling out next gen gig infrastructure. Where we are in the UK, We've rolled out BD UK or we're in the process of, of rolling out BD UK too. We now need to get that next gen access rolled out as quickly as we possibly can. But getting it to everywhere at the same time at these large speeds we're talking about is a challenge both in terms of time and cost. Well I'm sure it's going to be a very interesting and, and exciting period for the UK. In the meantime, thanks for talking to us. Thank you, Brian.